Hello everybody and welcome to the Multivibes Grand Final. we've seen from Entropic in the past is something they most certainly like to do. Look at Elian here walking up, looks to take this fight on the P250. Nice one tap onto Snappy. Speaking of being Snappy, great opener for them, and he spots two of Catwalk Forrester. He's got a lot of info for the Entropic squad. Flashbang goes up, but they're not going to opt to peek off of that. They're just going to slow it down, but Sphinx, well, pretty much doing the exact opposite, walking through lowers. Spots out Forrester, but is he ready for Lackey to be sitting behind the box? He's not, but he's still able to crap flat with two kills. Forrester and Lackey both fall, and now it's Ents' mid-aggression. Wow. Spinks with a third. He's just cleaning house right now for the side events. Elian, he is trapped between a rock and a hard place, and Spinks gonna find four. One versus five. The bomb is dropped. He's on for the ace. Hades going in CT, and Nickelback may have a headshot back in reimbursement, but seems like a consolation prize at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Just trying to get a couple highlight kills here. Perhaps he's even been smoked off from the mid. Or Sphinx still could be on the cards for the ace here as well. What a phenomenal pistol round, uh, pistol round coming through from the Israeli. I mean, the fact that he gets all those kills. It was even looking really dicey at one stage towards lowers. I thought he was going to get taken down without even finding a single frag. And But mm. he just has a, a phenomenal sequence. Nickelback, well, he's being very loud and proud in his approach right now. Diha on the Xbox. Going to get baited in. But Sphinx finishes off with the ace. Wait, no, this is a force by for Mintz. This is something that I've missed, but he's now trapped in the smoke. Is like pushing him down? Nickelback wow. breaks for nobody, and now the B bomb site, it's been left weak, and Krad, he knows this. He's going to start to walk up behind this smoke. Minute 35 to go. But wait, what is Entropic doing? They're going to be doubling back on Catmuck. They pulled the rotation of Dia, but they've still got to go against one man on the B bomb site, rather the A bomb site. As an aid goes deep on Catwalk, the AUG could make its name heard around the server, picking up one damage is dealt to Elian as well. This could be a little bad for them as they're starting to run into the A bomb site. Dodo still lingers on the ramp position. There's a flank coming in from Snappy, and Elian, he's got the bomb on his back. So even though they take down the player on site, he's got the bomb right in his lap. He spots it out, spots out another player, and just says, hey, come to me, man. We don't have to fight them. What a ridiculous turn of events right now. Snappy rattling off the shots through the smoke, trying to connect on the players. You want to try and retrieve the bomb. You need to remember with the A1S though, you don't have that much ammo. You just still have quite a bit in the bank. C4 retrieved. Of course, uh, Sphinx doesn't want to give away the fact that he's here as well right now. Right? Nah, he's still okay, I think. They definitely, they, they buffed it a while ago, you know, in terms of the amount of reserve ammo that you got in the A1S. And there we go, Snappy does get the kill, does give the position where the second player. So Lackey now knows that they both are residing towards short right now, trying to clear the angles out. Takes a lick of damage. In this fact, so both smart. of the end players are going to drop down right now. Looking to try and double swing on him. It's going to be Snappy who gets the kill back. A triple kill coming through from the IGL for ends. And what a massive round for them to pick up as well. But they won't actually end up spotting him. They still seem so certain that somebody is there right now. Forrester trying to hold an angle as well. They're the HE group. And he does dunk onto Lackey, but <laughs> still haven't been able to take him down. Some further util damage as the HE returns from Entropic. It's a one for one trade. And now we're going to be shifting into some serious action as Ents start committing on towards the safe bombsite. Dia leaving the charge with the Glock. Spots one on CT, sees one on short. Knows that there's probably one on the side here as well. He's dinked Elian down and he's been baited in, but he still will find Crad as well. Dia just continues his absolute tear here in the round. Sphinx gets a kill back. The kills just continues to come back and forth, but finally Dia will separate the two teams. And now it's all on Nickelback with his CZ75. He'll step out and receive the same treatment. Sphinx is clean, and Ensa picked up a 9. 13-7 is the scoreline. We're following this game super closely right now. There's a double orb set up in play here for Entropic, and it's do or die, and Ents, they're going to burst their ends towards the speed bomb site. First drive found by Forrester, but it's Lackey who misses a shot with the AWP, and that's going to be allowing Ents full control of the speed bomb site. Nickelback, he tries to be the difference maker, but ends up losing his life as well. And now it's going to be 14-7. Entropic yet to find a round here on the CT side of being dealt a major blow here in this grand final final by ends. That is a weird play there by Nickelback. I gotta say, I mean, the Molotov comes in and he just goes charging forward. I'll even, I'll play along with it. Let's say Nickelback gets two kills there. It is still like a 3v3. 3v2. And your closest teammates are in middle. I, yeah. I don't know if that would have changed That looks like much. frustration, man. It looked like frustration. Definitely. And um, that's problematic for Entropic because this this is still the first map of the series, but Ents have just been lights out ever since we transitioned into this T-half for them, man. I think this one's <laughs> just already done. I mean, you can see how Entropic are playing some of these just rage peaks, tilt peaks. I mean, they're not really playing as Entropic normally do. They're doing this fast aggression, praying that something works. And oh, speaking of something working, Ali and getting all the way into lowers, finding Hades head. Okay, let's relax on the ramp. Because oh, no. they've all of a sudden found three kills. It's up to Dia and Snappy. I counted them out. I gave them no opportunities here. And they have proven me wrong. Maybe not out of it just yet. The Og from Catwalk takes care of Dia. Now it's Snappy. The IGL on the 1v4 and Forrest is just going to spam him down. Now, the quick ground works out in the favor of Entropic, but how many more of those is gonna are gonna pan out? Because 
There's still seven that they have to capitalize just to get overtime. And look at the pinnacle yeah. betting odds, man. 1.1 to 5.3. They are wow. even counting this one done. You know, they put a bit of pressure on Entrop uh, onto, onto Ents at that point, and... Like I said, Ents won't be feeling as golden heading into the next map of the oh. series, but Snappy's aim is still looking devastating. Great shot coming through from him. Look at the quick flank here from Crad. Up through from Long. He's going to be able to get himself one, but Snappy's traded. That's bad. And yeah, that is problematic. Still so much time left on the clock. Yeah, options available for Ents, man. Oh, and this kill coming in just puts it... Oh, man, it ties it all together. Everybody for Entropic. They're trying to make these hero plays. They're trying to be the one that saves them from this horrible scenario, but... They're really just the ones giving it back to them. 2v2. Lackey pushing in from middle. Snap. Massive Sorry. kill. Massive happy Spinks. Ready for it. Won't be finding it. As you said, massive kill from Lackey. But now it leaves it all up to Hades. He's been quiet in this map. I'll say. We uh, counted him and toted him. is probably one of the most impactful. Oh, no. To the side of Hades. What is going on? <laughs> he throws his off away. What the hell was that, Alien. man? My god, I mean, he nearly threw that round away completely. I don't know, I was, I, I was gonna say, he's in the perfect position right now to shut this one down, hiding behind the box. There's literally no world that Hades is gonna be expecting him there. Trying to see what a Tropic are doing around the map here, and I do like that they're starting to sell some more presence in long. They're maybe, well, I mean, they're constantly keeping an eye on Catwalk, but in reimbursement, they've left mid wide open here. So if Ents just go for this mid to B take, right? If they spot out somebody in long towers, so they don't wanna go for this A take, they just throw that smoke in mid, and walk up B. Sure, there's two people to try and defend, but against all five Ents members, I don't know how well that one's going to go. Flashbang comes in, maybe to try and force some rotations, and yeah, you could see the instant reaction by Entropic dropping that smoke. Sure, he doesn't really leave yet, but even if he doesn't, not having that smoke on B is so huge. Just delays, or rather, gives yourselves way more time to go for that B take, but they're going to be flashing up Catwalk. Elliot here on the AWP goes in for the peak, misses an off shot, Nade's going to go up. Nickelback finds the opener, tried it out, building no Elliot still here. Good shadow spot from Crad to find another one, and Entropic keep trying to put this in their favor. Oh. Elliot, it's a collat, it's 1v3. Spinks on a long house. What can he possibly do, man? Tags on to Elliot, he needed to get that kill. Nade will go deep, maybe he can find it. Absolutely not. 1 HP to spare as Entropic cruise to a 12th. It's safe to cross for the time being. Ents trying to throw a lot of presence in towards the B-bomb site right now. Haven't shown any presence in mid. A fresh smoke drop shot by Nickelback as well. Looking around the fringes, he's going to be spotting one out. Lackey's gotten a kill as well. Ents haven't been able to accomplish anything. Finally, Diha gets a kill back on the opposite side of the map, but that's not going to be changing the outcome of this fight here towards mid right now. Flashbang comes through. The Nickelback's not blinded. It's a return flash. Hey, what? How on earth does he that first shot? Can't find the follow-up. Forrester and Nickelback, or rather Forrester and Lackey are going to double down. 15-13 going to be coming 15-14 here. Surely there's no way Diha I can do anything about this and it looks like we are absolutely on course to go the distance here and man oh man what a comeback from Entropic here on the CT side we saw Ents make a very sick comeback yesterday against the Zacro Boars but it's looking like the comeback is going to be against them this time around here in the grand final at least in the first map Diha will be losing his life in the end to Alien 15-14 Entropic have come all the way and uh oh and this... look at the pinnacle betting odds. 1.35 for Ents, 3.11 for Entropic. So, uh, yeah, certainly come back from the depths of where they once were. This is insanity, man. Like, look at the round counts, man. It was all one-sided. It was all Ents, we were saying, put a bow tie on it. It's a Trojan horse, but no, they burned it to the ground. That Trojan horse has not been allowed entry into the Entropic camp, but, well... There's still one more final push they have to make as Dodo already jumps out towards the blue bin, looks to continue his push, sits behind the smoke now, some stock standard stuff for Dostu. Dia going all the way up through a couple of Molotovs. This one, he does not have the HP to run forward through. Oh, and then oh, he, it'll just take care of him. Early kill comes in from Entropic. They're feeling it right now. Walking up, Hades has been spotted. Nickelback, he still looks to post up on the angle. The smoke will get him taken down to 57 HP. He wants to go for the repeat. The nade can't bring it back for Ents. Good flashbang as they try to push him down, but they don't commit to the peak. So Entropic, get away with murder. They walk away with a kill. A lot of damage. Some information, man. How do Ents bring this one back? Tapping away at Long Dodo can, but still not when Ellie and Lackey are ready to hit shots like that. 2v4, Hades. Gets one, 2v3. It's starting to look a little more doable for Ends, but with one man still sitting on ramp. Beautiful headshot from Sphinx. He's got his teammates back. Forrester walking up from CT. It looks like he's been hurt. They're contemplating a man being Lackey. here. Now Lackey comes in on the AWP. It's an op shot. It's all up to Sphinx. 1v2. Game on the line. Spots the head of Forrester. He has all the info and then some, but Lackey is just too good. How are we going to overtime? It's eight rounds in succession, and Entropic have brought it all the way. Two more where that came from, and we'll be seeing another chance for Ents to potentially bring this one back into the home territories. But, I mean, I don't know. Entropic, 
their T side, it looked a little shaky to start off that half, to be completely honest with you. And it's just not something that we can see again if they want to close this one out. I mean, as we said, they went down 5-0 to start out their T side of Dust2. And if that is anything to tell the tale for this half, uh, I don't really know if Entropic are going to be able to make that not be a reality. Look at the nades and mollies being dunked onto Elian's head in tunnels. He's already tagged on a 50 HP. Sure, it won't matter with the weapon he's got in his hands, but still something to keep of note is the M4s. Hit uh, a pretty weakened up target. Hades moving up. Catwalk. Are they going to just be walking in? No. The off shot actually rains out off of the flashbang, which is perfect from Entropic. But what are they off to do now? It looks like it's going to be another mid to B. Takes it in and CT Snappy. Finds one trading by Lackey. And now it's all up to Sphinx. He's really the reason. Or rather, the person who can stop this from being a one round for Entropic to Molly and Nade just to weaken up some of these players coming in. Ease in the load for his teammate on B. Trying to spam them down. They're burning oh in the Molly. They're putting everything on the line. One runs out. Sphinx, he's got to play this to perfection, but he just can't. Two versus three on the B site retake of all things for Ents to try and have to work back in their favor. Not this. This is not what they wanted. The Molly will keep Alien at bay, but with the AWP, he'll be able to take a pop shot before he has to fall off. Dodo sprinting in the flash is good. It's coming in from window. Crowd finds one, one versus three. We might be going to ancient. Dodo picks up one. Lackey locks it in. The comeback of a century. Entropic give Ents one round past 15 7, and we head to ancient with them at the map lead. Transitioning into ancient, as you said, Entropic, they looked icy on the map yesterday. Let's see if they can try and bring some fire to the server here today. They are going to be starting on the CT side, the side that they definitely look better on against Copenhagen Flames, but it is Ents' map pick. We expect them to be fire here, but they're carrying the baggage and the burden of what transpired in the first map of the series. So, um, what they, they is this? So that they put that behind them, and it's looking like a very aggressive A play coming through here from Ents. The smoke drain into the bomb site, exit through from spawn. They're not slowing down whatsoever, and they do find the favorable trades as well. Was that a temple smoke from T spawn? Or did I just miss him being outside of A? Like, that was kind of sick. I think that I, was I, Sphinx through that from T spawn, I think, if I'm not I, mistaken. I, can we get a replay on that? I need, I kind of need to see that. Well, it's a two versus one here, man. So there's still something going down right now. Elian looking to try and make the retake happen, but he's been dealt with in kind by Hades. I think it should be ends from here, considering the way we've seen these past few rounds play out. They've got a lot of momentum behind them, and they have certainly been uh, the more dominant of the two teams in the past couple gun rounds that we've had here on Ancients. And it just feels like they shifted into gear. The engine is absolutely warming up right now. They put that previous map to bed. They're focusing on the occasion at hand and it's looking it's looking like we're starting to see the events that we love and know man here in the grand final of the multi knockout series they are looking a whole lot better than they have uh, towards the end of dust oh, 2 oh, and oh. the star chair of ancients as well this is a fast day play i was gonna say this should be something we're seeing from ends but man not now is when I expected to see it, especially with how much they're punishing that B bomb site. But kills going back and forth. This is going to favor the CT side here on the A defense. Lackey still sits back here with the AUG. He hasn't gotten a kill, so he is completely unsuspected amongst the offensive side right now. They've rotated one into Temple D. Doesn't want to overextend till his teammates can come in. The Molotov looks like they do have a, somewhat of a, an awareness of what's going on. So. It's actually beautiful to see. About to take All it off from CT Hades. Post it up. Hit the off shot crowd. He was really the leeway back into this round because now everybody's yeah. going to start to hit the floor. Forrester 1 versus 3. They know he's in Temple. He's going to take the fight and there he's going to win it too. Otherwise, we're going to be shifting into Vertigo uh, in not too long of a duration, surely. I feel like it's already hit an iceberg here, Hayes. I, I don't know how we can turn it around when there's water pouring in through every exit and every avenue. Well, let's find out if they can patch up the plugs. A snappy. Going to be the first hole they have to deal with in Cheetah. Nickelback looks to molly him out of position. No, they miss the molly. And if that doesn't let you sum up how the T-sides of Ancient have been for this team, then I don't know what will. Still 5v4, though, as Elian is good to find an opener. Flash is good. Krad doesn't peek off it. Still just choosing to jiggle as all five of them group up towards this B take. Krad throws yet another flashbang, but snappy this time. All the wiser to find the kill. Now it's up to Dota to hold down the A bomb site or B bomb site. Forrester's going to be able to open things up. We're into a three versus four. They've swarmed onto it. And sure, Snappy could try to contest in from Cave. The spam actually going to go up and find one of these players. Huge frag to find, but still traded out. Not the best case scenario. They've got some util to try and go for this retake. But the bomb, it's planted in such an open spot that this one almost looks undoable for Ents. Thanks, and Hades. Looks like they want to have a crack at it. Going to be a smoke to block off Cave. There is Alien who's got free reign on the bomb site right now with the AWP. Not going to connect no. on his shot though. And I think that's going to be enough to dispel Ants. Yeah, they're going to be calling it, making their way back towards the safety of the A site to save these guns. And Tropic have done it. They've finally been able to win a round back here as they break the streak coming through from Ents. 
And that keeps them ahead now. That gets them back into the lead here in the grand final of the Multi Vibes Knockout Series, man. They go back up 12 11 here and. I'm gonna tuck into the right corner. He's really trying to play these Bunby ones in crowds. Usually, better want to pick him apart, but this Boom. time around, one or two bullets, and that's the end of him. I don't even know if the trade's gonna be there in and time. No flash, the nothing. Question. Uh oh. Gets the one, looking for the transfer. No, Oof. not gonna be able to. Just didn't have the HP to sustain that second fight. Now we're gonna be seeing a Tropic shifting themselves in towards the B bomb site. Oh, look at Lucky's position right now. Oh, he what? gets the jump on, Sna on Sphinx, but somehow Sphinx comes away with the kill. Now in Tropic, they have to shift their focus in towards this B-bomb side. That's all they have left right now. All three is going to be coming up through from the ramp. Doto's taking the attention. That could bring Hades into the equation. It absolutely does. He finds the first shot. Second foul by Doto. Map one by Enz. They pick up the second map here in the grand final. And they take us the, to the decider to see who will be walking away as the title of champions in the Multivibes Knockout Series, Anthran. Yeah, both of these teams have secured themselves boot camp spots in Malta as well, which is just such an exciting prospect. And into the pistol round, we pivot armor across the board. Yeah, for Ents, armor across the board for Entropic as well. Bar, Nickelback, who has got a smoke and a flash on his back right now. And there's going to be a bit of an angle held here towards the B-bomb side. Diha picks up her information, gets himself a lot of that, sees the players coming forward. Snappy will actually be the player to open up the account here in the round four ends as they try and lock down the defense here over at B. Crash find leveling impact in the middle, and now the focus shifts in towards this B-bomb side. Finally, Entropic are able to find these frags back as Crad comes through, picks himself up a second in the round, all onto Sphinx and Dodo. The double flank coming through right now has been discovered by Entropic as well. They've got full information as to what's going on right now. Ready and waiting for Ents to make the move. There's no kitchen play for Ents, which means time is of the essence. So many fights being taken across the board right now. Elian taps Sphinx down, and surely there's no chance here for Dodo left in the one versus three. He'll lose his life as well, and it's Entropic who open up their count first here on the deciding map pick. One, two, three four there's been five of the eight total timeouts used so far wow. three by entropic two by ants on vertigo alone yes damn that's crazy man okay opening pick found here by alien by the way or no this okay. is awp towards a ramp he finds the pick he takes snappy down and i wonder what ants are going to be doing from here because they've lost that pick and now they need to respond by making some moves they need to try and get some ground elsewhere You've got Dia sort of fishing out towards the B stairs. You've got Sphinx who's holding the aggressive angle in mid. And it actually looks like Dota is going to have some support coming through here from Hades. Oh, Enzo, you sure you want to commit to this right now? I guess they don't want to play the defense from the bomb size itself. But this could be a uh, round ending if this fight doesn't go their way. But Dota dominates Forrester with a really good shot. And that's going to really be good. leveling it back into even numbers. Entropic, or not Entropic, Ents, like, consistently putting the pressure on a ramp now, really is going to change around how the rest of this half goes, even though there's only two rounds left to try and capitalize upon. They want to pick both of them up, and this is the way to do so, to tell Entropic that even though we're down a man, we're not going to be scared to go back in for these fights, and Dodo picking up that second kill is massive. Getting all that information, he tells his teammates, hey, there's at least two more on A. We saw them swing out. Hades, look at this man walking all the way upside hall. He's just going to take this post. He but the problem is he doesn't have support. Kills. If he goes down even one for one, it's still a two versus two on the retake right now. He will connect on the first shot. He needs to find Nickelback as well. Won't be able to. And Nickelback, after basing the shot out, knows that he can just peek up for free and find the frag. Now it's on to ends to retake. Two versus two. Sphinx and Diha haven't been called on yet in the round. Sphinx going to rattle off the shots through the smoke. Crad standing on forward angle as well. Looks like Sphinx wants to force the issue. High flash high into the <laughs> sky. Actually going to be blinding Diha, but... Uh, where are these post bomb positions for Entropic? They actually haven't been able to get off the bomb site right now. Nickelback still on the sides itself, while Crad still tucked in the corner. My god, this entire post plant lives and dies with how these initial fights go right now. Nickelback bobbing and weaving on the bomb site. Ends, they haven't committed just yet. Now they can start to make their way forward, but Crad's looking down. Now it's on Nickelback. He's only going to be good for damage on Sphinx off. He trades Diha down, and it's another round one by Ents. It's going to be a sixth for them here on the CT side. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> look. <laughs> You're saying it could be Ents or Entropic? Damn. Hot well, take. look, man. I don't want to cast this curse. Look at this, because Alien right now has got a job to do, and he's been destroyed as his Forrester. Nickelback to pick up the pieces, tapping away. We'll be good what? for another one. Crad's actually coming to the equation. As well, Nickelback's able to get the reload out. My god, it's actually an even numbers game all of a sudden. This should be a. I thought, you know, Ents would have all the advantage in their favor, but no, and Tropic have been able to fight back. That's kind of insane to see. Uh, that round looked like it was done and dusted, but some heroics coming out from a couple of these entropic players have really made this look like it's a reality. And look at Lackey, man. He's not sustained, he's not satisfied with what they've been given. He wants more, and he wants blood. Dodo might come waltzing right into side hall. Is he going to be clearing this? He oh is, but not going to find the bro. shots necessary to pick up the kill. 1v2 now for Hades. I mean, one of the newer recruits to the roster. 
one of the most hyped players on it as well. Spotting out Lackey, he's been given a 1v1, but now he's going to creep back. Maybe try to spot out for this player coming in on the flank. It seems like he's got good awareness of what's going on, or no, he's definitely not as crowd. Just going to decapitate a man in Tropic. They're the ones who start off this half on the right foot. I mean, this has just been a, a back and forth grand final throughout. So to ask Ents to make a comeback after they've already had to play so much Counter Strike, after they've invested so much energy up until this point, that's a big ask, Ant. That is. Well, let's see if that ask can finally be pertained to. Is they've been given control of the A ramp, now looking to pinch up towards A. All five of them here, so it's not like they're missing any other members. The util isn't that great, but it will be more than enough to get them out of the bomb state itself. Not if Alien hits shots like that, though. That's actually one of the two smokes dispelled upon, and now they can't get a full sight smoke set up going. They have to forfeit one of them, and it's going to be the right side, arguably one of the more important ones, because now Alien can post all the way back deep from Elevator Crowd. Still on crane, still looking for a kill. They're all going to come walking in, but they still managed to find the kill almost uncontested. A man towards side all forester allowed on his plate picks up one alley and another looking for more it's a mode out on the a bombs like there's nothing here it's nothing left in tropic fine match map series grand final point whatever the hell you want to call it there's seven chances for them to win themselves fifty thousand dollars i i don't think so man i mean we saw him do it against Isaka, <laughs> but you at that said point the, you said the same thing about in tropic brother i when did are you gonna start to i did a believer man and when i see her face <laughs> oh let's go Crad flashed in towards A ramp. Doto not blinded. Crad actually saw he wasn't blind, so I'm not sure if taking this extra fight was the play there. Forrester can't connect on the shot side, but that's going to compromise his position. So much work for him to do. Yeah, probably just drops the oh smoke preemptively. And he will drop that smoke to try and buy himself a bit of space and time. But Ents have got the advantage here. Not only do they have the opening pick, they also know that Forrest is locked in right now. But Nickelback, who's had a great impact throughout this half so far, will Forrest find another made. kill onto Snappy. And Spinks has been taken down by Lackey. Falling apart here for, at the seams for Ents. They still know where Forrest is, but look at Nickelback getting so aggressive right now. He could find the low HP Doto. Could be pretty much single-handed. He's starting to finish this one off right now. Doto will walk into his cross there. There's 33 seconds left here for Ents to try and pick up the pieces. Two versus four. Otherwise, they're going to be finishing off second here. And Tropic will take home the title as champions. And and that will be the day. We'll call it a day. Multivibes knock on series done. And Dustin, Hades <laughs> loses his life. No, he gets the kill onto Deho who has been take. Or rather, it's Deho who loses his life. It's Hades who gets the trade. And now he has to complete the one versus three. In towards the A-bomb site, he goes flash high into the sky. But it's Alien who takes him down. And in Tropica, the title holders now here in the Multivibes knockout series. They will be crowned the champions as they overcome Ents against the odds. They pick up the series win 2-1. And they have started off the season in the best way possible by winning their event here, Anthran. Smiles across everybody's faces too. You can really tell this is this is a big win for them. Being able to continue their momentum after the player break. This being their first tournament after it, right? Exactly. Said how grindy they were. They come back out of it and win their first tournament like it's nothing. They Woo! walk through Ents in the end. 16-8. I didn't even give them a shred of thought going into that map. I was like, eh, and so just sweep this one away. We'll be seeing them take it to one. 16-8, man! Wasn't even close!